Hola, welcome to Abstract Sketches with P5ES. My name is Ilitia and I'm a digital artist, creative developer, and designer. Today I'm going to help you get started with the P5ES library as we make an interactive minimal abstract sketch of a GitHub universe. Let's get started. When I make digital art, an idea not always falls from the sky. Oftentimes, browsing for inspiration is always a big help. I wanted us to create a sketch inspired by origami art and stop motion animation, which is one of my favorite things to do with P5JS. I prepared a small mood board for you so that you can be inspired with me before we get started with our sketch. As you can see first, we have a universe full of stars, galaxies, and constellations. Then we have an image with origami figures. For the ones who don't know what origami is, it's the art of paper folding, as you can see here. And lastly, we have a stop motion animation example, where we see objects moving in small increments and being captured one frame at a time. We'll do something similar when we animate our sketch. Let's put our inspiration all together and start sketching. We have a short amount of time for this little tool, so I'm not going to go into depth with the code today. So if you're here and are new to JavaScript or never used it before, don't worry. I'll be sharing the resources of this short tutorial at the end so you can work on your sketch at your own pace. Grab your favorite code editor on your computer or online code editor and let's start setting up our project. Go to p5js.org and click on the link Get Started. Scroll down until you find the downloading a copy of the P5JS library or using a hosted version. If you're working locally, you can go either way. If you're using an online code editor, probably the best way is to use the link of the CDN of the library. I'm using CodePen, which is an online code editor, so I'm going the CDN way and make sure to link the library within a script tag inside the body tag at the bottom of the body in your HTML. If you are relatively new and don't know about editors or uh, online code editors, you can use one from p5.js. So if you go to the home page, click here on editor, and then you will find this. Let's start coding. I've added some basic CSS for us because that's gonna help us so that the canvas that is gonna be rendered via p5.js to create our sketch doesn't have any weird margins or paddings overfloating. And also I've added my favorite color as a fallback. In our JavaScript file, I've commented the plans for our sketch today. We're gonna start by defining some global variables. Then we're gonna make a custom mold for a space plan because in our GitHub universe, anything is possible. And I wanted us to have some space plans. We're gonna have more than one, so that is gonna be very useful. Then we're going to draw our GitHub universe with those plants and we're going to have a moon. Afterwards, we will make our little sketch interactive by adding some stars and galaxies on mouse over and we will animate such universe and have the possibility to stop and play such animation with a canvas click or mobile touch. Let's first declare our global variables. We're gonna need a background color, a shape color, and a stroke color. As you can see, you can declare the colors via hex value or color name or even RGB. Please feel free to use any colors as you like and change this if you want. Now we're gonna need as well a shapes as variable. This is gonna be useful because once we start drawing our sketch and we wanna make the elements a bit smaller or bigger, we can always come up to this variable and resize everything. Another two valuable variables that are gonna serve us are these ones that I created and call them shape gap X and shape gap Y. These two variables are gonna help us to achieve the origami effect of paper folding. We wanna move the primitive shapes that we're gonna use to draw our elements a little bit vertically and horizontally. So this is why I, I in the end, I call them X and Y, thinking of the X and Y axis. The X axis goes horizontally and the Y axis goes vertically. Let's continue by defining our first p5.js function. Before we do that, let's go back to our CSS and change that background color to something different than the one that we have declared in JavaScript so that we know when the canvas is going to kick in from p5.js. Now, the first one is a setup function which takes a method to create our canvas and is going to have the size of the whole window width and window height. If you wonder where does that comes from, well, that's part of P5 magic. If you open a new tab and you keep the p5js.org website open as you work through this tutorial, click on the reference and this is going to be the gold mine because in here are all the available variables, methods and functions from p5js that let us work fast to create our sketch via the Canvas API. If you don't know what the Canvas API from JavaScript is, I recommend reading the MDM web docs and you can learn about it because the library is based on that. 
Now, as you can see, I use this method called created canvas. And this one you can find if you scroll down in the part of rendering, here it is, create canvas. And here they explain, this documentation is amazing because whenever you want to do anything, it tells you and it gives you example always of what you can do with it. And the following function that we need right now is the window resize. We are going to add this function just to make sure that once we have our sketch here, we will be able to resize everything and everything is going to be resized automatically for us. We're going to create now our custom mode for our space plans. We're going to do that via JavaScript classes. If you don't know what JavaScript classes are, I recommend visiting the MDM web docs to learn how classes in JavaScript work. Our JavaScript class is going to be called plant. As you can see, our class is broken into three sections. The constructor method is going to allow us to customize each plan by choosing a leaf size, a leaf count, how many leaves do we want that our plan has, and a position on the x-axis. Then we have two functions that I created for us. One, I call it spot because it's going to help us to find a spot for a plan on the ground on the x-axis. And the second function that I created for us is the one that is going to create our plan. There are four functions in our class that we didn't create that come from p5.js. The first one is the transline function. This one is allowing us to move an element in the x and y axis, and we're not using the third value set because we are not drawing in 3D, but in 2D. The other one is the triangle function. This is allowing us to draw a triangle via the Canvas API by entering the parameters of the size of the triangle. I already did the math for us, and as you can see, I drew two triangles because each plan is going to have two leaves and it's going to expand vertically to choose the size of the plan depending on the leaf count. The other two functions from p5.js that I'm using is push and pop, and we're going to need those, and I will explain that later. Let's draw our first plan into our sketch by using the function draw from p5.js. As you can see, it's going crazy because the function draw is iterating several times, and in order to have only one plant, we can add a background color, and then each iteration is not only going to draw the plant, but it's also going to draw the background. And it's going a little bit too fast to my taste, so we're going to go back to the setup and tweak the frame rate. Normally, this, the default uh, frame rate from P5.js is 30, so we lower it to 4, and now we have this stop motion animation effect I talked about in our mood board. Also, you can already see that our plant has this folding paper effect looking like origami and it's in here where you can customize for example maybe you actually don't want to have any color in your plan maybe you only want the wireframe so then there's this function from p5js called no fill maybe you want to use uh, another fill color the default one is white i also had white but maybe you had green and this is where you can change it for example if i were to change this to i don't know eight, nine, seven, another hex value. Here you will see that it's going to change to this color greenish that I was talking about. And now also you can decide if maybe you don't want a stroke, for example, and you maybe you want to only have your plants fill in, but without stroke. And the stroke color can also be customized. It's the same. The default is black, but if you wanted it to, for example, make it blue, you could totally change the variable and now we have a different stroke. So just come back to your variables and change and adapt as you wish. And also the stroke weight, you can choose if you want thicker or if you want the default, which is one. Let's add more space plans into our little universe. I already moved everything to a function expression here in our JavaScript and it's very easy to create our plans. You can see that you can choose how tall you want your plants to be and how wide the leaves or how thin. I also wanted us to have a moon in our universe. So we do that via the circle function from p5.js. And I created eight circles to represent the real eight moon faces via the stop motion animation that we have going on in here. I wanted to show you real quick what push and pop does. Let's comment that out and see what happens with this triangle that we were translating. We see the translation happening differently because the translation is taking place after the other translation that we have previously done. Push 
function saves the current drawing style settings and transformation while pop restarts the setting. So I wanted to have this translation on the second triangle independent from the other translation. This is the reason why I'm using it often when I don't want the translation to be dependent of the previous one. Lastly, let's add some stars and galaxies on mouse over to our sketch. Let's make it interactive with the function mouse move from p5.js. I decided that our stars or galaxies shouldn't have a stroke and I created them with a circle. I decided that each circle should be drawn by following the mouse in the x and y axis. And as you can see, the stars are randomly different sizes. I'm using the random function from p5.js, which takes one value which is the choices, or you can set up a minimum and maximum value. As you probably already noticed, and I forgot to tell you, is that we were using already the random function on the moon, and also when we created our plan, as we were translating the x axis randomly from one value to another in order to create our stop motion animation effect. We implemented a way to draw our stars and galaxies on mouse over, but we see them disappearing every time we move the mouse. This happens because the function draw from p5.js resets the function mouse move every time it's drawing again or sketch. We need to find a way to stop the drawing function from p5.js to continue so that we can draw our actual stars and galaxies. In order to do that, we can use the mouse press and touch start functions from p5.js. We will use both because the touch start function is going to allow us to interact with the sketch in touch devices. I created a function expression called toggle draw for us so that we can use it in the mouse press and the touch start functions from p5.js. This is going to allow us to stop our animation and draw our stars or reset the stars that we draw and loop back to our animation. We're using two functions from p5.js to achieve that. One is called no loop, which is actually stopping the drawing function from p5.js. And when we want to redraw, we call the loop function from p5.js. Now, let me show you the final sketch where I drew my stars and abstract galaxy going on in here. As you can see, you can go crazy and add as many stars as you want. Maybe you want to have more plants too at the bottom, have a full bush, or maybe you want actually less plants, like only two. Maybe you want to have two or three moon faces happening in your little GitHub universe. Really anything is possible and you can do as you want. Feel free to share your work with us if you want on Twitter and Instagram by using the hashtag GitHub Universe and you can tag me, I'm Elitia underscore net. I'll be happy to see what you came up with in this little tutorial. I'm also sharing with you the link to the resources of this tutorial which is a GitHub repository where you will find everything that we did today so that you can practice after this tutorial at your own pace and create your own abstract sketches. Thanks for being here and I hope that you learned something new today.